Hey guys, Dr. Koyu here, welcome back to my channel. Now today I'm going to be doing another what if, and that is what if Goku had Barnes Immortality, part 3. Now as usual guys, if you guys can, please like and subscribe, leave your comments down below on my, my comment section, and let me know what you think of the what if, okay? Good or bad? I don't mind. And yeah, but not only that, please take care of yourselves, okay? As I stated last time on my last video, and I'm going to keep saying this until we all get to a better state. Keep yourselves safe, okay? And now, without further ado, guys, let's get into the next part of the what if, and that is what if Goku had Barnes Immortality, part 3. Now, let's begin. Now, when I last left off, Vegeta and Broly were screwing off in, in a really intense battle where Broly is absolutely making gains with some souls of Vegeta, and Vegeta pushed Broly to the point where Broly activated his Akari form, which surprised both Vegeta and Goku, but makes Vegeta smile. And Vegeta explained that he actually learned that same moon, same technique while doing spiritual control and learning Super Saiyan. And he smiles and he goes, <laughs> Kakarot didn't learn this really, but I did. And so Vegeta also replicates the same exact move that Broly does. Vegeta closes his eyes, his hair begins to raise even more than what it already is. And his eyes open up and he has the same yellow eyes as Broly. Both their power increases and Vegeta goes, let's go! And that's where I left off and then now that's where we're going to begin. Now, on the wasteland in the battlefield, um, shockwaves have been heard everywhere, echoing, destroying mountains, making earthquakes, causing uh, massive dust storms, like making massive tidal waves through each blow, kick, everything. There's echoing everywhere. To people that are not far from the area, they believe it's, they believe it's all just like explosions or volcano erupting, but it's just two people fighting. And in the middle of the battle, Goku's just, Goku's just having like the most fun watching it. He's like so excited because he goes, I want to turn. He's like, I'm chomping at the bit to want to have a turn, but he knows he has to wait. Paragus is, is impressed that Prince Vegeta is so strong. He can't believe that Vegeta has the same exact ability as Broly does, but more controlled. But then Paragus realized that, he, of course, Prince Vegeta was similar to Broly. Vegeta had a power level, I think, of 790 when he was born. Like, like how Broly had power level 910, so they went far off each other, I think, okay, so don't quote me on that. But, um, for the most part, um, Paragus even looks and he goes, well, it makes sense, he's uh, the prince of all saints, an elite. And so, for the most part, um, Broly and, and, and Vegeta going at it non-stop, Broly get, pushing Vegeta even more, and Vegeta's and also joining and pushing Broly even more, but Vegeta just has more finesse. He's able to easily use Broly's own strength against them. Broly getting stronger, but Vegeta's also compensating and getting stronger. Slowly raising his key as well. One stop. Vegeta for the most part is impressed, but he's kind of scared because he can feel the Saiyan just keeps getting stronger and stronger and stronger. To the point where Vegeta has to push himself. And he, he's amazed because Vegeta has trained hardcore and the Saiyan just is, is, is just impressing him so much. And then Vegeta starts to go serious and begins to beat down on Broly non-stop. And this is when Broly Paragus says, Broly, don't let him be true. Broly tries to, tries to push Vegeta back, tries to, but Vegeta just keeps dominating him, dominating him. Broly powers up even further in, in his, into his Akari state, screaming into more rage, green energy starts to erupt around him more. Vegeta does the same thing where he powers up his Akari form also. But his Akari, his, his Akari aura is more like gold. Super Saiyan kind of color. So when he starts to power it up, Vegeta, for the most part, is starting to get to his um, limit in the carry form. He needs to go further. And Broly start, just keeps getting more and more powerful. So Vegeta's just going more and more serious now. Every punch, every kick, everything is just more and more damaging on Broly. For the most part, Broly is getting stronger, but Vegeta beats him down to the point where he makes one of his eyes close. With shocks and Paragus, and, and Vegeta, for the most part, um, um, does an attack that moves so fast. That it hurts, hits Broly and pretty much breaks all of Broly's ribs. And when Broly tries to use his size against Vegeta, Vegeta increases his size thanks to his spiritual control to match Broly's size, which makes Goku laugh. It really makes Goku laugh, and Goku, um, Vegeta overpowers Broly and, and throws a massive punch to Broly's gut and full power. But he, uh, he only briefly turns Super Saiyan in his Akari state, Super Saiyan, and punches Broly as hard as he can in that form and then drops back down. And as he does so, drop Broly is blacks out from the punch. But Vegeta, um, Vegeta drops to one knee, breathing like, I commend you, Saiyan. Vegeta's like, next time, Kakarot. 
<laughs> he puts a thumb up to him, Goku, and Goku goes, Oh man, dang you, Vegeta. And then Paracus can't believe what just happened. And he goes, he goes, how how could you beat my son? He's the, the he, he's the most powerful Saiyan to ever live. And Vegeta goes, <laughs> hardly. The idiot over there is, even though I hate to admit it, the idiot continues to surpass me in every way and shape, despite his power. Gah. And Goku goes, yep. <clears throat> Paracus goes, what? This man over here is a, 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 a Saiyan. What is his tail? And that gives us. Goku for the most part goes, oh, I had my cut off. And he goes, so, you worked for Freezer's dad, eh? Goku goes over to Paragus, and, and Paragus tries to be stronger, but Goku use, um, uses the ability of telekinesis to hold hold Paragus there while Goku places his hand on, on Paragus' head and read his mind. And he saw everything from Paragus' um, son getting exiled to King Vegeta doing that threat to him living and living a hard life watching Broly live. And for the most part, Goku feels sorry for him. Really sorry for him. Mostly sorry for Broly. And so what happens is Goku lets, lets go of Paragus and tells Vegeta everything. And Vegeta, for the most part, because they ha they've done a lot of training on Yardred, um, Vegeta and Goku are now even more close as rival friends. Vegeta will trust Goku's counsel because it was Vegeta that pushed Goku to gain more better spiritual control. And then Goku can, can see that Vegeta is better at that than he is. And so th there's a mutual neutral uh, one up on each other they have and so when Vegeta takes us into consideration he goes <laughs> well I'm sorry for my what my father did to you I don't know how I can repay you back and Paragus is like shocked that a royal, a royal person can't even do that can't even apologize and he goes well I think I have an idea Vegeta and he goes what and he goes give back the life that we, um, your father took and he goes, what do you mean? Well, Broly and Paragus never really had a life, right? And Paragus goes, what? And he goes, what are you saying, Kakarot? The Saiyan's already powerful what is this? Why would you want to make him, make them go to Vegeta? Goes, Vegeta pretty much hinting at what Goku's about to say, about to wish, do, do. And Goku goes, yes, you get what I mean, Vegeta. And he goes, huh. but why the kid, though? Why make him as well? And he goes, I think it would be beneficial. Give Paragus here a chance to change his ways at least and Paragus is shocked and he goes what are you guys talking about and what happens is Goku walks over to Broly and begins to heal him and Vegeta goes why are you healing him he goes well out of me and you I can handle healing people I don't get tired like you do and Vegeta goes that is true that is true Kakarot <laughs> and then Goku heals Broly Broly wakes up and kind of shocked and he's like oh and Paragus kind of tells uh, he's shocked that his son is fully healed from the Saiyan. Like, he can't believe what's just happening. And then Goku goes, come on, I have an idea. And Vegeta, I think you might like it. And not at the same time. So um, he tells Paragus and Broly and Vegeta. Well, Vegeta can do it himself. But he, Goku tells Paragus and them to put his hand on his shoulders. And Goku goes, we'll go to Bulma's house. And he goes, okay then. So the instant transmission to where Bulma stays. Both Vegeta and Goku. With them. And they get the Dragon Radar and look for the Dragon Balls. Takes a while to do so, of course. When they find the Dragon Balls, um, what's it called? Goku, someone Shenron, and Vegeta goes, I hope you're right about this, Kakarot. And he goes, Yeah, well, you, you kind of owe it to him, you know. And Vegeta goes, As I told you, I apologize to that enough. And he goes, Yeah, that is true. Okay, this, then we'll look at it this way. This is like a gift, then, eh, Vegeta? And Vegeta goes, What do you say, Kakarot? Vegeta walks, walks slightly backwards away. And Paragus, Paragus is just shocked, and so is Broly. Broly's like, whoa, he's like, he's big like bar. And Paragus is looking at Broly, cause that's the most Broly's ever spoke like that. Because while Goku and them were looking for the Dragon Balls, Broly got to meet, um, what's it called, Bulma and Gohan. I'm just going to stay for them, but um, most part, Gohan's there at um, Bulma's house with them, uh, with Piccolo, and Broly got to meet them and meet Gohan. And for the most part, he liked them. So when Goku makes the wish, he goes, I wish for the years that were taken from Paragus and Broly. Give him back. So, and Chen was like, explain. He goes, hmm. And then Vegeta goes, ah, you're an idiot, Kakarot. He goes, dragon. I wish. And Vegeta's like, damn it. I have to do this. <laughs> and Chen was like, speak your wish. What do you wish? And Vegeta's like, ah. I wish for Paragus and Broly to be the age they were. When they entered Planet Vampire. 
when my father exiled him there. And Shenan goes, I can do that for the father. However, the son is too powerful for me to make that young. However, and then Shenan goes, I can do this. Your wish is granted. Shenan makes the wish, and Vegeta goes, <laughs> walks away. Paragus goes, what? And then instantly Paragus develops into his younger self again. Where he has his black hair and he has his eye. He said, oh, what the? And then Paragus looks at Broly and Broly for the most part is, is in a young state. Young, a young age state. More to like Gohan's age. And, and Paragus goes, Broly? And Broly's like, mm -hmm. what the? And then Goku goes, yeah, well, there's your gift, Paragus. Welcome to Earth, by the way. And he goes, feel free. Find, like, to find themselves and so for the most part Paragus and Broly find themselves on Earth and for the most part the next story is that go that transpire really changes like Broly and Gohan get to get along like thick as thieves like they become really real close in a sense and because Goku can use instant transmission and Piccolo is around all the time as well Gohan for the most part can always get the town and, and do, do studying and because Goku has more of, of an affinity towards kids like well, Paragus is like in any way he Paragus wants his son to grow up strong, so he allows the son to always be able to crack around with them while Paragus travels the world and experiences the world. He doesn't want to disown his son, but he knows his son's in the right hands with Kakarot. And so Paragus leaves Broly with Goku and them, and he goes to travel the world to find himself what he's all about now. He's a completely changed man, like a completely different person. So Paragus leaves while well, Goku and Chi Chi, for the most part, raise a another pretty much a kid in a sense and, and for the most of we're gonna get real him and Gohan gonna get real strong and Chi Chi teaches everything house manners everything and he becomes really great and he looks at Chi Chi like a like a mum figure and for the most part when it comes to Vegeta when Vegeta comes he, uh, he he stays in the picture too so for the next three years it's Vegeta Goku um young Broly young Gohan um what's it called Piccolo Krillin training hard I'm training for the next three years but Everyone is like quite literally just training hardcore. Um, Quillen and Piccolo for the three years learn spiritual control. Piccolo learns how to heal others and increase his healing factor and tele instant transmission. He's already got the ability to multiply himself and make himself big, so that's just, he doesn't need to do that. But Quillen, for the most part, um, he learns instant transmission. So that that's a good feat for, for him anyway. So as the three years go by, Vegeta still has Trunks of Bulma. And he lives at Capsule Corp. And Paragus, for the most part, still finding himself. Traveling the world, you know. But he um, keeps in contact with teaching them about um, Broly's progress. And yeah. So when the faded day for the Android attack. No one's around. No one is on. No one knows about it. No one gave it. Um, told them what the Androids were. And so um, um, a, big, a city get, gets destroyed. And everyone senses it. Goku tells Gohan and Broly to stay here with Chi-Chi. And Piccolo uh, and tells Piccolo to come with him, and Piccolo goes with him. Paragus, for the most part, he, um, hears his explosion too, and he flies over as well. Vegeta's in Capture Court, and he tells Bulma to keep Trunks and um, um, take him to um, um, Kakarot's place. And so, for the most part, um, at first, Bulma said, Nah, I'm right here. For the most part, and Vegeta goes, God damn it, woman. Vegeta instantly up, um, takes off, and they all they all ride to the city that just exploded. And when they look down, they see a young girl and a young boy with a real big, uh, with a, um, with a r r real big grin on their face, uh, while they hold um, people in their throat. Like one's holding one person in the throat, breaking his neck, and the other blowing, blowing them apart, s shooting them down. And Vegeta was shocked at what they're doing, just casually destroying cities, blowing people apart. Yeah, and Vegeta grits himself. So does Goku. Goku instantly appears and kicks. Kicks um the um, the black haired one in the face, and he gets sent flying. And um the the blonde here tries to attack Goku, but Goku instantly disappears. And Vegeta takes Goku's place and lays a massive kick to the um, the blonde haired girl's face, sending her flying as well. And as they both um crash their buildings, Goku and Vegeta look at look at all the, the devastation, and they're shocked at what they see. They can't believe it. And then Vegeta's like, "Who the hell are you two? Seventeen eighty, get up! And they're they're badly injured from these attacks." Okay, and they come out and they look and they're like, Ugh, how come you guys are so strong? Dr. Jiro's calculations were on point. And Vegeta goes, huh, using technology to sense our power? That's just ridiculous. Goku smiles. And then what happens is, 
Gregor goes, who the hell are you two? And he goes, I am Android 17 and this is Android 18. And for the most part, they ready themselves for battle with this two sand, but they're badly injured. And while, and while they're talking, something comes and stabs Android 17 in the back. And then proceeds, proceeds to absorb him as he grabs um, um, 18's head and picks him up. And after he absorbs 17, he's already holding 18. He begins to transform while he's holding 18 he, and he absorbs 18 as well straight away. And this creature smells good. <laughs> Finally. He wraps a massive, a massive energy and transforms into his perfect form. He looks at Goku and Vegeta and goes, <laughs> Nice to meet you, Goku, Vegeta. My name is Perfect Cell. And that's why I'm going to leave this one off, guys. I hope you like this one off. Please like and subscribe and leave your comments down below. And yeah, but this is Dr. Ko saying peace.